Hello, welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. Today I'm going to be talking about nozzle checks, head cleans and print head alignment as part of our sublimation bundle, sublimation instructions. So what is a nozzle check? So for a nozzle check, we have one here. This is a typical nozzle check from an Epson printer. So you can see here we have an OK nozzle check, no broken lines, no mixing of colours. And then at the bottom here, we've got a few variations of no good ones. So we've got quite a few broken nozzles, one broken nozzle and then mixed colours. So if you print with broken nozzles, you're going to end up with issues of lines in your print mixed colours. So we do recommend ideally you shouldn't continue to print or you should stop or not print. and Don't go past the nozzle check section until you've got an OK nozzle check. If you try and print with broken nozzles, all you're doing is you're just putting more ink down on an already dried and blocked nozzle and ultimately it will just be harder to solve and you'll end up doing more and more head cleans. So how do you do a head clean? So there are very the various ways to get in to do the drivers. So the first one is you open an image, not quite open it, right mouse, print and then into options and then printing options and you're in here, look, in the maintenance. So we have a nozzle check which will print this document here and then we have a head clean here which will clean it and hopefully go from this to, to this. So in the instructions it says do no more than four to six maximum. If you have an eco tank printer and you get from four to six and you st if you still, it's very rare but sometimes it does happen if you have a broken nozzle st still, I recommend that you leave it for a 12 hour period and then come back to it. Quite often after the 12 hours, it's either okay, the bubbles have settled, or you just have to do one more. If you've got refillable cartridges or a continuous sink system, when you get to six, stop, get in touch with us, uh, and we'll, we'll actually step in and then just make sure everything is okay before you do any more. Sometimes you have to do one more, but we, we need to step in. We need to get involved and step in. It doesn't mean you've got a faulty product. We just we would just like to step in and support you guys. Right, so that's one way of getting in. The other way of getting into it is, let's just cancel that, move this over here. So the other way of getting in is to go into devices and printers and then find your printer in the list you have got lots here, I do apologise, scroll down to this one, select it, printing preferences, and again, you're into maintenance and you've got nozzle check and head cleaning there. So some models you have, what's here is a print head alignment feature, which I'll talk about in a, middle, in, in a minute. Some of the newer Epson prints, they don't have it here. So a print head alignment is where you have an okay nozzle check, but you still have lines in it. So it's part of the setup. We always recommend that you run a print head alignment. So what you get is you can get, this is a print head alignment sheet that's printed. You can see lots of uh, lines here in it. And what it does is it, the printer asks you to enter the box values for the one with the least amount of lines. You're not guaranteed to get to get boxes with without any lines. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So you end up with like a horizontal and a vertical box. So you can either access the print head alignment feature through the drivers and what it does it asks you to enter the values like I said into there and you just click next basically you're just following what it says on the screen tells you what to do so ways of getting in there you can either go to the print head control panel on the printer this is another method and then just go into maintenance and look for the print head alignment and then it will print the relevant sheet off so just to summarize, you need ideally, you need an OK nozzle check, stop at four to six maximum and run the print head alignment as part of the setup. And uh, don't continue if you've got broken nozzles, it will just make things worse. And that's it really, that's how you uh, do the nozzle checks and the print head alignment and thanks for watching. 